Hello, Antonio. Thank you so much for joining today's call. My pleasure. It, uh, we want to welcome you on board to design and buy to our organization. And with Thank your you. great experience, we are looking forward to achieve great heights and achieve great success in the business. And I also want to uh, welcome Nidhi in today's call. Your presence itself is a great experience, Nidhi. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. the session. Thank you, Manish. I'm looking forward to this interesting discussion. Great, great. So it will be an interesting discussion, obviously, because we will be talking a lot more about Antonio in today's call. So Antonio, I was going through your profile and it seemed very exciting to me. And I wanted to, you know, ask you personally how your pro, uh, you know, professional journey was and what experiences you have had uh, in your, throughout your career. Well, yeah, um, I started in, in information technology around 25 years ago, uh, working for IBM in South America. Uh, ever since I have started in this field, I never left it. Um, I covered the South American region for IBM for uh, over 10 years. Then I moved back to Canada, where I opened my consulting business uh, in business transformation and business expansion, uh, helping companies in, in North America to enter the Latin American market. That's great to know. And, uh, you know, this also comes in my mind that uh, how you come across to uh, design and buy as a company. And uh, I, I, I'm pretty much sure that you have gone through the website, at, you know, when you first heard about design and buy, what was your impression? What was, uh, you know, what you felt about the products, the solution we offer? Well, you know, uh, it, my, the way I, I, I met um, uh, Design and Buy was, it's, it's an interesting story. I was taking care of a customer. Actually, I was working out a customer in Italy, uh, trying to sell him a web to print solution. And uh, I was moving the customer you know, along the sales process one day I, I, I call him to follow up on the sales process. And then he goes and tells me, Antonio, I'm sorry. We decided for another web to print solution. And I said, what? And I said, okay, well, can you show me the, the, I mean, what company? Can you show me whose company it is? Not only he showed me the, the name, where the designer, by, but he told me, Antonio, come and see how powerful it is. So he showed me the, the demo. And honestly, I was very, very impressed with the solution. So I said, well, I wish you all, all the, found the name, you know, a few days, uh, a few days later, after I thought about it, I contacted Abhishek, uh, one of the uh, directors and founder of, of uh, the sign and buy. Uh, and <clears throat> we agree on a video conference. He introduced me to, to, to Nidhi. And that's how uh, uh, was my first interaction and encounter with the sign and buy. We eventually, with, with Nidhi, the conversation went to introducing the company and all that mm -hmm. um, uh, to, to some negotiations because uh, obviously I was interested in the company and, and uh, I, I wanted to offer and put on the table my experience in, in Latin America. I was very impress, impressed with, with Nidhi's ability to open doors, to find common grounds uh, so we can discuss and um, uh, right after, I think we were like a month or so uh, negotiating, but after we finally reached that common ground uh, that we were looking for at the beginning, we signed the contract. But more than signing a contract, I signed into Nidhi's vision of uh, the potential and uh, of DMB. Mm -hmm. That itself a very interesting uh, story, Antonio. Uh, so Nidhi, do you want to add Can anything I, to this? Yeah. No, I love the discussion that we have had during and I could find a synergy between uh, the vision of our company and what Antonio to pursue ahead in his uh, career. And that's how we are together. So Antonio, I'm also interested to know how you got involved with printing industry person. Yeah. 
it was 15 years ago. Well, uh, I was selling software all around, and it was only 15 years ago when when an European company approached me because they wanted to, to enter the Latin American market, and their solution it was uh, MPS, Managed Print Services, and uh, they didn't know how to go in there. They didn't know anybody, so it's just you know, it was a lot of hand holding, and I brought them in Latin America. That was 15 years ago. Well, that's something interesting to know. And uh, Antonio, uh, you know, as you uh, mentioned that you have a vast experience in the same industry and you have been, uh, you have seen the transformation of this industry, how rapidly everything is changing. So what do you think, which product or which industry uh, the people are talking nowadays, which is the hot topic you feel should be, uh, you know, considered? I am a strong believer that the, printing industry as a whole has a lot of potential. The world mm -hmm. hasn't stopped printing because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, you come from a very uh, beautiful area, which is South American region, and which is uh, itself uh, growing in very rapid speed. So how do you think that the printing industry is growing in South America? And also, what future you think the printing industry holds in the South American region? The Latin American printing industry could be a gold mine or a minefield. A gold mine because even in 2020, the industry had $200,000 in mm -hmm. per revenue in revenue per second, mm -hmm. and it is forecasted that uh, the, to grow at a compound uh, rate mm -hmm. annually of 6.7 percent from uh, 2022 to 2026. And it also could be a minefield because it takes more than speaking Spanish or Portuguese mm -hmm. to do business with the region. You have to know and understand their business culture, the industry mm -hmm. participants, mm -hmm. and the way people relate personal relationships to business deals. Mm -hmm. It is a totally different approach and a totally different world. If you try to do business in Latin America, mm -hmm. the same way you do business in the US or in Europe, mm -hmm. you are stepping in a landmine and for sure you will blow up in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, I, and I couldn't agree more to Antonio on this, Nidhi, uh, because we have come across so many such instances where, you know, uh, we tried uh, uh, attaining with the same speed which we do in the US and UK. And, uh, you know, we have, mm -hmm seen those reluctancy in those regions so it is great to have yeah. you on board yep yeah and and that was my primary reason because i wanted someone who is experienced in this industry mm -hmm. and could help us penetrate deeper into this area which is more driven locally right mm -hmm. and then when when i met antonio i i i could spot on that he is the right guy to be with us Thank so I'm, I'm so happy that it worked out uh, uh, in, in a very collaborative manner. Yep, in, in, in our favors, I would say, Nidhi. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> and Antonio, uh, you know, considering your vast experience of, uh, you know, in the printing industry, you have come, you must have come across so many printers who, you know, often make mistakes, mistakes while uh, preparing their growth strategies. Uh, you know, they often avoid the industry uh, you know, the difficulties which are there. So what do you think, uh, uh, how that should be taken care? Well, uh, the industry has been a very profitable mm -hmm. business for many years. But we came to a reset button. And, uh, and the major mistake that, that, that the, the print shops could make is uh, to think that what they what uh, brought them to success up to now will take them to success moving forward. Mm -hmm. They need to do something. They need to transform their business. Exactly, mm. I, I I agree with you. Yep, yep. And uh, you know, one more. Which this is uh, a question I feel uh, straight and forward. What made you choose design and buy? Well. Uh, with my years of experience just walking around the continent, mm -hmm. I learned how to I learned how to notice a market leader 
uh, when I see one. So mm -hmm. uh, DMB is one of those companies that mm -hmm. are a leader in the making, and I wanted to be part of it. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> That's great to know. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, you have uh, gone through the website, you have gone through the solutions we offer. So what do you think that the TNB products, the, you know, the solutions mm -hmm. we offer can help the printers in Latin American region? DMB web to print is the solution is second to none. It's an, it's mm -hmm. an outstanding solution. <laughs> and uh, uh, the best that we have is our flexibility with the business models mm -hmm. and to adapt our solution to each customer budget. That's the, be the best tool that we have in our toolbox. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty much sure that you have some plans for promoting the digital transformation and you know, your local region, which is South and Latin American region, the print yes. industry you have, the market you have. It, absolutely. So digital transformation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. digital transformation start with the mindset transformation. Mm -hmm. We need to position ourselves as the industry transformation consultants, mm -hmm. um, who will propel print shops in Latin America to profitability and growth again. Great, great to know Thank that. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Antonio, before we wrap up this call, do you want to add anything? What would be the, uh, you know, your closing statement for today's session? Yeah. Uh, with the printing industry growing at a compound annual rate of 6.7%, mm -hmm. the crisis still changing consumer behavior and mm -hmm. purchasing behavior, mm -hmm. uh, pushing them more and more into a digital economy. And of course, with a lot of work, I can assure you that within two years, DMB will be the absolute leader in the web to print arena in Latin America, no doubt about it. Oh. Yes. No doubt about it, no having you now it. on board. Yep, yep, yep. That's what, uh, you know, we feel uh, the same at our end as well. So uh, thank you so much, Nidhi. Thank you so much, Antonio, for your time in today's session. It was wonderful talking to you both. And I hope the listeners will have a clear idea that how aggressive design and buy is going to be with the expansion plans in coming year, which is 2022. So thank you so much for, you know, for your time and for helping our listeners uh, with your insight, your valuable insights. Thank you for inviting me. Thank yeah. you. We yeah. uh, thank, we you wish, thank you so much, Nidhi. And we wish everyone a good health, a growth in every aspect of their life and stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Bye-bye.